In today's video, I will be reviewing your model airports once again. In the previous episode of this season, you argued that Basel International Airport, Palm Springs International Airport and Palanga International Airport deserve a spot in the grand finale episode at the end of this season. Be sure to comment down below which airports featured in this video deserve their spot in the grand finale. In about two days, on November 17th, I will close the registration form for Season 4 Model Airport Reviews. So be sure to register your airport using the link down below. Now let's get to airport number one. The first airport of today is Kota Kinabalu International Airport located in Malaysia. And I think this 12400 scale airport looks absolutely lovely. It's incredible to see how the runway and taxiways are lit up and also the floodlights and the lights inside the terminal at such a cool effect. He has got a lovely variety of Asian airlines on this airport. And at every gate there is loads of ground service equipment around the aircraft creating a lot of realism. He even paid attention to the tiniest details like the cones underneath the wings of the aircraft. I also really much like this image with the lights in the foreground and the incredibly detailed terminal and some lovely models in the background. For anyone who has a model airport or wants to build one, I'd advise you to take a really good look at this airport and take some inspiration out of it. There is so much detail on here and it looks absolutely incredible. And in my opinion, definitely grand finale worthy. Here is Tiny Port International Airport located in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. He has come a long way in the grand finale in the previous seasons and it seems he's upgraded his airport once again. Behind the terminal he added some country flags which look very very lovely. On the airport apron he has got some lovely bottles around which is a lot of ground service equipment. Something which I very much like about this airport are the different tints of grey on the ground. Here at the aircraft stands he has got a light tint of grey and the runway has got a very dark asphalty tint of grey. In between on the taxiway he has got once again another tint of grey and I very much like the variation in paint colors here. Overall I think Tiny Port Airport very nicely improved this airport once again. And if you think he deserves a spot in the grand finale once again, be sure to comment that down below. Next we go to the United Kingdom and take a look at Birmingham Airport in Birmingham, England. Once again a lovely detailed model airport in the 12400 scale. There is so much going on around this KLM city hopper. And he has even got airport workers around the aircraft. It seems like the ground service equipment is 3D printed but I love to know whether this is right because I think it's really hard to 3D print these people. The scenery around the airport looks absolutely fantastic. On the modeling grass he has got trees and grass tufts and I think the background here with the hills also adds a really nice effect on the photographs. I also really really much like this image of his airport. Once again the background adds depth to the image and in the foreground there is lots of detail around every aircraft. Thanks to the ground service equipment and also very detailed ground markings. Also he's got actual passengers waiting in line to board the aircraft here. The wear and tear on the airport surface looks incredible and there are some cracks in the concrete tiles which also add a really cool effect. Overall I think Birmingham airport is an incredibly detailed airport and definitely grand finale worthy. This is Los Gatos International Airport located in Los Gatos, California, the USA. And I think it's a lovely model airport with an awesome layout. In the center he has got a runway and on each side of the runway are aircraft stands. The details are awesome and I think the ground markings look greatly detailed. Two cool features here are the flags and the ILS box which he has. And here at the aircraft stands he also got floodlights. And in the background of the spirit he has got a cool windsock which I think he created out of Legos. Overall I think we're looking at a very complete model airport. With an awesome layout and a lot going on on the whole airport. Next we go to Canada and take a look at Fed's regional airport. 
It's a very compact but lovely model airport for a few reasons. First of all here on the runway this Air Transat is landing which you can see from the smoke here coming off the tires which is a really cool detail. Also it's cool to see that he lifted up the nose. Also he has got ground service equipment and cones on the airport which is a very awesome detail. And lastly at night he has got floodlights. They add such a cool effect and I can recommend them to anyone who hasn't got them yet to get them for your airport and create more realism in the dark. Next we go to Australia to Green Bay International Airport in New South Wales. An awesome model airport located in a corner of his room. On one side he has got the terminal building and on the other side he has got a taxiway and a runway. And the terminal building looks incredible. I love the LED lights that he installed. The branding on the jet bridge looks awesome. He's got good looking ground service equipment around all of the aircraft. And another cool detail is that he added these windows and textures using paper, which he probably printed out. I also really much like this cargo stand where this FedEx is parked with the letters and the branding here in the background on the terminal. The runway looks very nice as well and here on the left he has also got a tiny model airport which looks lovely. Overall I think we're looking at an awesome Australian model airport here. Next we go to the United Kingdom and take a look at Comset International Airport located in Dorset, England. On the left here he has created awesome scenery with water and then trees and bushes next to it. Also he created some country flags which is a lovely detail to see. Moving to the airport then he has got some great variety of model aircraft and around all of the aircraft is a bunch of ground service equipment. This ground service equipment he has folded out of paper which is a really budget friendly option. I will put a link in the description to this website where you can download your own paper ground service equipment yourself for free. Thanks to the creator Little Model Airport on Instagram you can have access to baggage equipment, pushback trucks, fire trucks and literally anything you need for an awesome model airport. So be sure if you don't have any ground service equipment yet to check him out and download your GSE now. This is Gold Coast International Airport located in the Australian Gold Coast. A small airport fully made out of paper. In terms of ground markings I think he's done an awesome job. Taxiway signs, gate numbers and even fuel spots in the ground make this airport look quite realistic. At night he installed some lighting which is really cool to see. And the aircraft on the airport he fully handmade using paper. The final cool detail is that he actually created an interior for the terminal as well. Which makes Gold Coast an awesome paper based model airport. Next we take a quick look at Dubai International Airport of course in Dubai the UAE. And I think I have two big tips for this 1 to 400 scale airport. He's created an awesome airport with the very iconic looking terminal and a great variety of model aircraft. Though my tip for you would be to work neatly. The shapes in which you cut out the sand in between the runways can be way neater and more round following the curvature of the taxiway outlines. And talking about those taxiways, I think if you plant the taxiways a bit more ahead before you started drawing, I think you could have made them a bit neater. So you could consider creating them again. Here we have Europe Air Force Base located in Germany. A 1 to 72 scale airport featuring several fighter jets and a heli. The scenery looks cool and I like the fence he has created on the edge of the runway. Another cool detail is that because it's scale 1 to 72 he actually has people marshalling the aircraft to its parking position. I hope you can add more ground service equipment in the future as I think in scale 1 to 72 you can do incredible things as the aircraft are quite large. This is Dubai International Airport once again though this has been created by somebody else and it's a 1 to 400 scale airport made fully out of paper. He's nicely added a bunch of ground markings to his airport. And also the iconic terminal is nicely recreated. He's got a bunch of Emirates A380s on the airport which of course 
cannot miss on Dubai Airport. My big tip for you would be to color the ground, which is now white, a tint of gray or darker gray, just like you've done with the runway. I'm sure this way your airport will look much more realistic and even better than it already does. Next up going to India to Chandigarh International Airport, set to be built for only 10 euros. I like all of the ground service equipment around this Etihad Airbus A380. Also the blast fence right here is nicely positioned and an awesome detail to stop the jet blast from the aircraft taxiing here on the taxiway. My tip for you would be to buy actual good modeling grass. Also you can consider adding more ground markings like taxiway outlines, fuel spot markings at the aircraft stands. And by creating rubber tire marks using charcoal, you can also add an extra sense of realism to your airport. Thank you for watching to the second episode of Season 4 Model Airport Reviews. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to comment down below which airport you think deserves a spot in the grand finale. Also, you've got two more days to register your model airport, so be sure to do so if you haven't done yet. And then I would like to thank you for watching to this video. Please consider to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.